Earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park. Earthquakes shaking Mount St. Helens in recent days. All of these dots, these are all of the earthquakes that have occurred in this region in the last seven days. <laughs>
some of which had never erupted before. Roads cracked, the Madison River was dammed, and visitors fled as the earth roared beneath their feet. In 1992, the Landers earthquake in California, hundreds of miles away, triggered changes in the eruption intervals of geysers like Old Faithful. In 2002, the Denali earthquake in Alaska, magnitude 7.9, sent seismic waves across the continent. Within hours, geysers in Yellowstone erupted out of sequence. Some became more active. Others stopped altogether, their underground plumbing clogged or burst open by the pressure shift. So when Mount St. Helens shakes, the USGS pays attention, not because Yellowstone will erupt in sympathy, but because geysers may respond. And, indeed, in this imagined narrative, Steamboat Geyser, the tallest in the world, erupts spectacularly just hours after tremors from Washington ripple into Wyoming. Visitors gasp as superheated water blasts 300 feet into the sky, while sensors record a sudden change in hydrothermal pressure. Act 3. The dance of uplift and subsidence beneath Yellowstone lies a magma chamber so vast that it dwarfs Mount St. Helens. The system operates like a giant balloon. It inflates as magma or fluids accumulate and deflates when pressure is released. GPS records show that over the past century, Yellowstone has experienced several episodes of uplift and subsidence. Between 2004 and 2009, parts of the caldera floor rose by nearly 20 centimeters, one of the fastest uplift rates ever recorded in a volcanic system. After 2010, the uplift slowed and the ground began to sink again, showing how dynamic and delicate the system is. When earthquake waves travel through this region, they jostle the already stressed crust. While the energy is not enough to cause an eruption, it can shift fluids in the hydrothermal network leading to surprise geyser eruptions or new hot spring activity.